Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any V having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ. What's common between those? The same engine transmission has been used in all these in all these three vehicles. And if you have check engine light on and code P0130, stay with us. We will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it, guys. Make sure you stand till the end. It could be super simple fix. And we will explain how to test the sensor that's actually activating that uh, engine light and code related to uh p0130 guys before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos another thing if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts tools uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so let's go ahead open the hood we'll be demonstrating here on a hybrid but if you have a non-hybrid version guys practically it will be the same just the engine will look a little bit different but all you will be looking for guys now uh, many of you ask me to recommend just a cheap scanner guys something that uh, reads deletes uh, uh, engine codes you can see what the engine code is for but this is really cheap scanner you can see live data you can see if it can pass emissions read the lead code so it's pretty cool scanner guys very cheap i'll put the link in the description of the video below and i always keep that one in my glove box in every vehicle guys just for peace of mind if i get an engine light i can scan it on the road and see if it's safe to continue or not so let's go ahead okay and remove the upper engine cover here if you want to see the step-by-step -step video it's on our channel guys and uh, we need to locate guys that code relates to oxygen sensor you have two oxygen sensors guys one is before the catalytic converter on the exhaust which detects the amount of fuel and air in the exhaust that oxygen sensor is known as upstream oxygen sensor it sends the information to the engine computer and it will determine if it needs more air or fuel so the engine is efficient and clean running and the second sensor is known as downstream oxygen sensor or sensor 2 it detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job and it's uh, located right after the catalytic converter now i wish i could stick the camera in the back but it's limited room so we'll get uh, uh, you can practically reach it with your hands okay now it's right here guys make sure the exhaust is completely cold the connector is underneath you need to go underneath the car but if we guys get the endoscope i can show you with the great detail okay okay let me turn the light off so you can see okay right there that's your upstream oxygen sensor that's the one guys okay before the catalytic converter the purpose of that sensor is to detect okay if actually okay uh, uh, if you have enough um, uh, uh, perfectly balanced mixture between air and fuel so you can see that's right before the catalytic converter let's just stop moving for a second okay let's clear it up a little bit it's not good now okay that doesn't look good so uh, let's go ahead try to oh right there you can see that's a catalytic converter that's the oxygen sensor right here and uh, you have one oxygen sensor right after the catalytic converter guys so if you have problems with that code p03130 most likely it's a bad oxygen sensors melted wires that came loose and touched the exhaust okay or unplugged oxygen sensor guys oxygen sensor that's disconnected and the connector for that thing is actually underneath guys okay i will come right here okay you can see this is the okay this is the catalytic converter the downstream oxygen sensor is down there okay upstream it's that blue cable right there guys and the connector goes to right here next to the cv axle if they come off they might bounce off the cv axle and they break so always make sure that it's connected you can see the top one the black one is the one that's for the upstream oxygen sensor guys so uh, practically that's the catalytic converter on top of it right before it that's where the upstream oxygen sensor is located most likely as i said that oxygen sensor melted wire or unpoured wire thank you for watching see you guys next time